Ashwagandha is probably one of the most popular adaptogens. It's an um, evergreen um, bush shrub that comes, you know, they find it in, in Asia and in India. Um, and particularly the root um, has been used for, I don't know, eons in herbal medicines um, for it's got a it's got a long list of uses, but I think we like it for its its effect on stress, relieving uh, you know relieving stress and anxiety. Um, it's felt to lower cortisol levels, and um, as you all know, you know the stress in small amounts is a good thing, right? When we when we have something that causes fear, you know it. it our fight or flight um, response is engaged and with that fight or flight is increased in cortisol levels. So on a short term it's actually a really good thing but the problem is when you have chronically high levels of stress, chronically high levels of cortisol, it can, um, it can be a negative thing. And ashwagandha is felt to actually help lower um, cortisol levels and um, so along with that, you know, you have improved sleep, you have improved mood. The other, other reason that we like it in our products is that it, um, it is felt to um, improve VO2 max, which is your ability to utilize oxygen um, um, when you're exercising. So of course, for, for you know, athletes and performance, you know, that's, that's a big deal. Yeah. And then in the men's products, a number of clinical studies show that it increases testosterone levels by about 15%. It's nice to have the increased testosterone um, as you're losing testosterone, as your levels come down, um, without actually taking testosterone. You know, it's a natural way of, of your body getting the benefits of testosterone.